Hi everyone, my name is Prue. I'm the recruitment lead for Red Wolf and Roche in Adelaide. Um, I'm also a career coach and today I wanted to talk about uh, resume writing and how to really make your resume stand out from a crowd. Uh, something that's particularly important at the moment with a higher than usual unemployment rate. Um, people are talking about getting large numbers of applications. So you want to make sure your resume is one that people really take the time to read. Um, there is a statistic that says uh, people on average spend six seconds looking at a resume. Um, I don't know if that's entirely true, but the point it makes is that you really don't have very long to grab someone's attention and make them want to keep reading. I'm a really big fan of uh, just applying for jobs that you really want and spending a bit more time on those applications as opposed to apply, applying for a lot of jobs that you're not that interested in and sort of hoping that whatever application you send out is going to be okay. Um, so make sure you read the job ad really carefully and make sure that you speak to that job ad. Um, so the types of things that they're looking for within the job ad, you know, it may be your personal attributes, it may be your qualifications and training, it may be your job experience. You want to make sure that stuff is really easy to find. Most important is the first page because if you don't get their attention on the first page, chances are people are not going to keep reading. So make sure that whatever's relevant really stands out. If it's your education that they're after and that's important, make sure that's on the first page. If they're not that interested in your education and it's not relevant to the role, perhaps you might have it at the end of your resume. Um, your most recent job experience, make sure that your resume is relevant and up to date. So you want your most recent job experience at the top. Um, you might include something on the first page that's called, we call it a career summary. So it's actually really just dot points of the jobs that you've had, the companies that you've worked and the years that you've worked there. And then you go into further detail on those individual roles, um, you know, perhaps further down on your resume. Um, you want to make sure that your resume is really well formatted um, and really clear. Make sure that you check spelling. Make sure it's a really professional document. Um, you know, people, as I've said, people won't spend long looking at it. Uh, so make sure that they can find what they want quickly um, and that it represents you, that it is, it is a representation of the quality of your work and people will see it that way. Um, so make sure that you really put in the due time and attention. Um, anyway, I hope these tips really help. Happy job hunting and remember at Red Wolf and Roche, we're always happy, happy to have a chat to you about what your career aspirations might be. Okay, all the best. Bye.